Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. So, um, guess we're going to get on with it. Get a little look around first. Go see Ash. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. So, the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. Wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? W what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Um. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Okay. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Shepard, oh. there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. <clears throat> Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Like, in Mass Effect 1, my guy looked really angry and tough. Now he just looks sad. Like, he's got big puppy dog eyes, like, Oh, everyone's dying. <laughs> Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? Uh, just put a French accent on, but... Never mind. How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just on the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. 
How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. All right. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. Damn. Turn that chest down. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Indicate that Earth has fallen to the same enemy force that attacked Batarian space. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, another round of antibiotics. But when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I... I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Hmm. Jesus. <laughs> Just let this guy lie here. This don't mind me, I'll just suffer. Wow, all of it. Jesus. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. 
I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. <laughs> if you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted... I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... and a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. Yeah. <clears throat> Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Counselor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any Council homeworld. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True, but in the end we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? 
What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Uh-huh. Useless Shepard, as always. Keep me in my office. Fucking useless I as always. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Um, I hope we can sacrifice them again. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander. I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Falvin's prime mark for Dorian is the one that called the war summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palapin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... The Reapers are tearing us apart and you want to make a deal? I'm trying to help you, Commander. The summit leaders set our war strategy, and this council is beholden to their decision. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. The Council. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Hmm. On your Odina. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. Wow. Uh. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. 
practical. She might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatrace for you. Frankly, it's good Quentia spoke with you. His home world is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. <clears throat> You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a character or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Good. Cool. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff. But to have it all gone. Mm. I should go. I'll be here. So yeah, he's not he's not too bad. In this one. Let's double check in something. Yeah, it's fine. That's good. Can't get any of them right now. have questions. Commander Shepard, Kalisa bint seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best... I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you military thug! Ugh! You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. <laughs> cool, I nearly missed that. She might knock me out. <laughs> Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. can't say when we're deploying, or where, or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. It was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? He did, didn't he? So why would he be here unless he's seeing the Council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard! Ugh. Why are you in this game? Why? What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. 
I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. Mm -hmm. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? <sighs> Just because there's more dialogue options, you can come, but I'd rather they got an actual actress and voice actress for this rather than some reporter from fucking IGN or wherever the hell she's from. You know? Do you really think the website and like magazine or whatever this person works for I'm not going to mention a name would give this game anything other than a, than a stellar fucking review when one of their reporters is in the game <sighs> tell your producers yes for now we'll see how it works out report to the ship as soon as possible any questions? how much gear can I bring? one foot locker Aye, aye, Commander. Don't salute. You're not in the military, stupid bent. Just go on the ship. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through. So, every data packet counts. So, how am I supposed to talk with you then? Uh, you've all been there. Can't argue with the missus. But you can, he just... Just doesn't get you anywhere, really. Oh, God. So you hit me with Diana Arales and this at once, really? Now, if you recall in part one when I said there were certain parts of this game that really do hit a chord and are really, really well written, and there are certain parts that just fall flat and are obviously written by Mac Walters, your talentless hack, this would be one of the latter times. This is stupid. Right, it's on the nose, it's on the button, it's in your face. Oh my god, Shepard is having a mental breakdown. <laughs> Why don't you show me that, right? Don't tell me. This is pretentious. This is telling me that Shepard is having a breakdown. Alright? A lot of people didn't even like this kid anyway. So, seeing him burn all the time doesn't even do anything. He's just like, oh, right, yeah, he's burning. Right, okay. You know. Show me a replay of Kaiden being killed, or show me, like, you know... A replay of like any t squad members that you lost in the second one being killed. That would be more of a impactful, you know, dream than this. This is just retarded. No, it's even worse. It doesn't even end. He just fucking runs off. Was well, he gonna stay there this time? Good. Must have been because I was standing there for ages. Oh no. Little dicks running off. Right. Yeah. Well. Wish this was a lucid dream so I could beat the tar out of you, but. Sorry. Where the fuck have you gone? Stupid kid. There. God, this is so. What's the word? Hacked? You know, like, it's like. What is the word? Not cheesy, it's, um, you know. Just, uh. Yes, we get it. He's not in a men nice mental state. Convey it in another way, please. As in, be clever as a writer. 
No one cares. No one cares. Even Shepard doesn't care, he just shit his pants. Anyway, enough grumpiness. Back to the good parts of the game. Thank fuck. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? Which Primarch is it? Mortarian, Fulgrim, Robot Girly Man, Sanguinius. Huh? Because any of those would kill a Reaper, really, to be honest with you. Just shaking off some sleep. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist. Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Am I upset her? What have I done now? Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. Women. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. So you're... Where's the ginger slutty one? Wasn't there a ginger slutty one? Hmm. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. Son of a bitch. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. In any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh. I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. <clears throat> I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. See now, that's a character that I is a good addition. A really good addition. I like Trainer. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device. 
when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Yeah, yeah, I'll just do all the work. You know, you just sit there watching something getting built and I'll do all the work. You just... You know, don't strain yourself. So, um... Yeah, I think um, it, we've just seen in the past 20 minutes like the disparity between certain design decisions. Um, you know, letting a reporter from a gaming website take over a uh, a character in the game who has no acting experience and quite frankly is not a very good uh, voice actor at all uh, compared to a trainer who is voiced by a woman called uh, Alex Bolton Regan who is extremely talented, uh, a fantastic voice and a really good voice act actress also is extremely hot but no, that's not the reason why I think you know it's it's okay that she's in it and uh, Jess ooh, I nearly said her name that uh, the other woman, you know, who shall remain nameless. Uh, you yeah, know, that's not the reason for the disparity. Cause the, the two both be beautiful women. It's just like um, one actually has talent at this, and one doesn't. And one is here for the right reasons, and one one isn't. So, yeah, enough about that. Enough about that. Okay. Not that I'm saying that the uh, reporter woman isn't a fan of Mass Effect, she probably is. She just has no business being in a Mass Effect game, to be honest with you. Unless she becomes a voice actress, then all power to her. But, uh... I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thestia was lost and Earth hasn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. What the fuck's this doing here? Why do I have to walk through it? This is my ship. Dickwads. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Well, he can fucking wait, can't he? Because I'm going back to my cabin. For some alone time. Actually, no, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to go and check my, uh, my casual gear out. No. No. I don't know. Actually similar to what I wear in real life. Apart from the shoes, I don't like the shoes with this. It looks a bit silly. Apart from that. Nah. Nah. Hmm. Do you know what I'll I'll do I'll do this and another uh vid not a video but uh
Just in case you want to read this, <coughs> I've read these before. Okay. And Eden Prime. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, folks, uh, in the next part we'll be waltzing, uh, waltzing around talking to people and investigating the ship and then doing probably going to Menai. See you then. <laughs>